back at it this morning with my tomatoes and I've got about 25 pounds here in two sinks soaking and I have to wash them first and I've picked up oh, quite a number of green peppers and jalapeno peppers and what I thought was cilantro and it turned out to be parsley, very large leaf, not what I'm familiar with uh, but I do have some uh, cilantro that I dried from the last time that I made it because Mark bought way way too much so I will be using some dried cilantro and some fresh parsley in this batch and both will work uh, obviously lemon juice as well I don't use vinegar and uh, I mean I do have my own apple cider vinegar but it's I don't have it tested for acidity level so I will be using vinegar or sorry I will be using bottled lemon juice in this recipe because I do tend to can it so those are the main ingredients um, fresh tomatoes fresh green bell peppers um, jalapeno peppers some spices definitely some salt cilantro parsley and lemon juice now that's basically oh and onions of course <laughs> um, yeah I've got quite the job ahead of me to wash cube and uh, prepare I've got 50 pounds of tomatoes I don't know how much I'll get through today um, I don't know if I have enough of the green peppers I certainly bought quite a bit of them so we'll see how far this goes anyway I'm planning to at least try to do the first 25 pounds today Okay, half of my tomatoes have all been washed and they're all clean and ready to be processed. I've got my bell peppers in the sink to be washed and my jalapenos will be washed shortly after that. Then I have to work on the onions. So getting these all ready to be um, tomatoes peeled, bell peppers diced, jalapenos diced, and onions diced, so quite the job ahead of me this morning. Okay, I put my gloves on for the jalapenos. Once again, this is not something that I normally use at all. So I'm going to be a little more careful with these. Okay, first I'm going to... I should probably cut them into quarters. It'll be easier to remove the seeds. easier and if there's a few left I don't mind I'm not trying to clean them out thoroughly just don't want this mess of seeds in there and yes the last batch was just slightly hot Mark says it could have been a little hotter but I don't like hot so I'm satisfied with the amount of heat until these are all cleaned and chopped as well and then we'll focus on the onions.
Well, I have to cook this up in batches, so what I'm doing is I'm cooking up some of the green peppers to soften them with onions and with the jalapeno peppers first. That's what this looks like here. So getting them softened up, and once they're softened up, I'm adding some tomatoes from that batch, which I've got a huge pot of tomatoes all chopped up. And when they're done, to some degree, I don't really cook them fully, I'm putting them in this container um, until I've got the whole batch mixed up and then I will cook them a little bit longer. Add spices, I've already added some cilantro, some salt, and some parsley. And I will add some garlic and some lemon juice to the whole batch when I'm done. So yeah, long involved process and yeah, it's, it's a big job. Okay, I've finished making my salsa and putting it in jars, at least the quantity that I did make so far. I have 21 pint jars. I still have more tomatoes to do, at least half of them. <laughs> so I'm thinking that I'm going to finish these off today. And uh, the other ones I'm just going to do peeled plum tomatoes and put them in um, quart sized jars. And then when I do want salsa, I'll just drain those, dice them up, and use those to make more salsa when these are done. I mean, we have this lot, which is 21, and I think I made 24 the last time. So that's quite a few jars, but we are going through them. So either we'll continue to go through them or they'll end up sitting on the counter. Don't know which. But anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to get these uh, lids on these, get them in the canner, and uh, give it up for the day after that. That's enough for me for today. Anyway, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this little segment, and we will catch you on the next one. And yes, I've got one heck of a cleanup job to do.